Hello and welcome to the finest game of internet marketing, learning how to strike joint venture deals. In this course, I'm going to teach you how to get experts and marketing top guns to promote your products for hot profits. A joint venture, or JV in short, is a marketing alliance between you and one or several joint venture partners in launching and promoting your product to the mass market. This is something like a premium way of starting your own affiliate program, but instead of getting normal affiliates to promote your product for you, you are getting what I call a different class of affiliates. Sometimes they are called super affiliates, but most of the time we recognize them as joint venture partners. Because the difference between a joint venture partner and a normal affiliate is that while normal affiliates are normally ordinary people who are sitting at home, they don't have a mailing list of their own, and they are using slow methods to generate sales for you, joint venture partners are normally established experts who already have a strong following. They either have a strong following of subscribers or visitors who are regularly visiting their websites or blogs. Having your product being endorsed by an expert lends a lot of credibility to your product and your name as well. Needless to say, you can enjoy an avalanche of sales. This is what a lot of top marketing gurus are doing today in launching their product into the marketplace with the help of an army of top-notch joint venture partners. And I'm going to teach you how to do the same. So, why would you want to do a joint ventures? For one, results are almost instant. Because, let's just say you have 10 joint venture partners promoting for you, and each of them have a mailing list of their own. Just imagine 5 minutes from now, you have 10 joint venture partners blasting a promotion email to their mailing list, which is collectively tens of thousands of subscribers from all around the world. Don't you think you'll be making instantaneous sales that way? Also, getting an endorsement from an expert means higher credibility for your product. And again, like starting your own affiliate program, you pay only for results. This means when a joint venture partner makes a sale, only then you get to pay him. This means your upfront marketing expenses is reduced to zero and yet your sales can be massive. Now, a lot of beginning internet marketers always have problems with recruiting joint ventures because they do not know how to approach the marketing top guns the right way. This is what you're going to learn in this entire course. I'm going to teach you how to approach joint venture partners the right way even though you are new to the world of striking joint venture deals and believe me this is a skill that is worth your while learning if you don't learn this it's going to make a critical difference to your business income it's either extremely low or it's going to be extremely high of course i know you prefer your business profits to be extremely high now i'm going to walk you through on where to find joint venture partners Here are some 5 places you can look at. The first place is at social networking websites like Facebook groups and forums in your niche. Because forums are a great place as well, because this is a where experts normally hang out, you see. In every popular forum, you'll find out that there are always experts or moderators in each forums as well. They could be experts running their own online websites and you can actually approach them. Same goes for Facebook groups, especially their admins. Another way is to join several mailing lists of experts in your niche that you have identified. Over the time, you will start to find out which expert is better than the other, or who's tier 1, who's tier 2, and you'll find out the rest not to be significant market players which you can skip. Hunt for the best. Here's another sneaky way of getting joint venture partners and especially finding experts. Just go to isnarticles.com and look for authors who are writing for specific niches. That's how you can get joint venture partners as well. Now when all else fails, you can still get a joint venture broker, engage him for a service, and get him to recruit joint venture partners on your behalf. All you really need to do is pay him a certain percentage as well, on a second tier level. For example, let's just say you're paying 50% commissions for joint venture partners. You can pay a two tier commission to the joint venture broker at say 10%. So for every joint venture partner he refers who makes a sale, you pay him 10% too. Like your normal joint ventures, you pay him only for results, especially when the people he refer makes money. Also, nothing beats personal touch. If you have a chance, attend local seminars that you're able to attend in other countries and network with a lot of top marketing experts. You'll be amazed that you can actually strike a good deal over a meal or a drink at a bar. Common mistakes newbies make when approaching JV partners. Here is a list of common mistakes I noticed that beginning internet marketers tend to do when approaching marketing top guns. I hope that you avoid all of this. In fact, these are some of the things that I have done myself before 
and I would like you to avoid them too. Firstly, wrong timing. Being in this business, you have to be sensitive and you have to be aware of your potential JV partner's schedule. For example, if he is currently launching a product, this is definitely not a good time to approach him because he is too busy doing his own launch and that is his current priority. Approach him when he is less busy. Another one is sending a JV invite on a short notice. Successful people in general are busy because a lot of successful people are normally workaholics you see. So try not to send a JV invite on a short notice. Avoid this altogether because if you send a JV invite on a short notice, your potential JV partner may not be able to promote your product in time. The third mistake is your overall offer is not attractive enough. If your potential JV partner finds your offer not attractive, or he is comparing it to other products that he could possibly promote, this is another instant feedback that your offer still needs to be attractive. Another mistake is not being in the same niche. This is why approaching the right type of JV partners is important. For example, if your product is on speed Mandarin, but you approached a potential JV partner who has a mailing list catered towards a group of people who are interested in losing weight, you can see that this is a very, very irrelevant approach altogether. Now, this is what I call the meetings approach. If you notice that in your joint venture invitation or approach that you have more mentions of me, myself and I compared to what's in it for you, you find out that this turns off a lot of potential joint venture partners as well. Because when they read your email or your joint venture invitation, they want to know what's in it for them and why they should help. Remember, most of the people you're approaching are already successful and they don't owe you anything. But you need them more than they need you. So this is the reason why you must give them a very strong incentive to make sure your joint venture is a win-win situation and be more selfless. Another mistake is being anonymous in the eyes of the JV partner. This is not your fault at all. If you're new to the marketing scene and you have not set up a name for yourself, don't be surprised if JV partners are quite skeptical about who you are because you don't have a record about yourself just yet. But you can overcome this problem by building an awareness in your niche by putting up more special reports, articles, and have your own business blog where your potential joint venture partners can refer to. There's also the guilt trap approach which I notice it's very famous. You see, there are some amateur marketers who try to use guilt trap approach going along the lines of please help me, I'm broke, I don't have any money, and you're the last person I'm trying out. Now, don't do this even though this might be true in your case because financially desperate people will just drive successful people away. You will repel them. So never ever use a guilt trap approach. Your potential partners don't owe you anything and they prefer to do business in a more cooperative environment. Now that you already know what to avoid in making deals with your potential JV partners, how do you get them to say yes to a JV offer? This involves how to pull off a lot of successful joint venture invitation. The first quick and easy way is to offer higher commission incentives. Normally a lot of people are offering 50% commissions for digital products. So you can try offering 60% and above instead. In fact, don't be shy to offer 100% or even 200% sometimes where it's possible because you want to reward your JV partners very well. You wouldn't mind playing the loss leader here because if you have your back ends, not only will you be able to cover your front end loss, you'll also be able to profit and in the long run from building a paid customers list. Also make things exciting by throwing in a sales contest. This is a secret to why many marketing gurus are making more sales than they ever dreamed of because they throw in a sales contest to motivate the joint venture partners and especially reward them very well. Now, here is something that is quite rare among a lot of marketers. You should recipro reciprocate with a JV partner before your product launch. Why before and not after? Because this will prove your worth first and it shows that you are interested in working with a JV partner long term. So you offer to promote his product launch first before he promote yours. Of course, be less selfish by giving complimentary access to your paid product. Now, what will you do when a potential JV partner says no to your JV offer? I want you to know that even though you have already learned how to get joint venture partners to say yes to your offer, there will always be possibilities of people turning you down sometimes. Hey, nobody likes rejection. In this case, I want you to handle it very well and in a professional manner. Try to understand where your JV partner is coming from if he disagrees to promote your product. Just kindly tell him that. Thanks for considering and there will be another opportunity of working together again next time. Just because you're not able to work together, it doesn't mean that it's going to be like that forever. You can still approach him next time around. In this case, you may want to study your approach. 
Maybe your, maybe your offer was not attractive enough. Maybe he's just too busy and you approached him at the wrong time. Or maybe he's still skeptical about your product and who you really are before he announces you. In this case, you want to overcome by proving your worth first. You want to build value between yourself and your JV partner so that he will promote you next time and it's going to be a long-term business relationship. I hope you've learned a lot from this joint venture crash course because this will really dramatically increase your business money profits if done correctly.